Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. I have been requested to show you guys how I make my cabbage soup. Let me get right into it. I'm going to show you the ingredients and then once I get everything chopped, I'll show you what I do. It's very simple. Okay, first of all, I like purple cabbage. Maybe it's because my favorite color is purple. So I use that. Then I also use some veggie stock. It depends on if you like a more brothy soup. I don't like as much of a brothy soup, okay? I like to be less brothy. I use a complete whole onion, but I brown it up first. Now, it, the recipe doesn't call for this, but I'm going to do it because I have an extra one and I don't want to waste it. I'm going to cut up and chop up a pepper to put in there. I also use some garlic. I cut up celery, a carrot, and... One of my dear friends who I went to college with, and he, we, we got together recently, and he gave me some fabulous spices. They're from Wisconsin. He grew up in Wisconsin. I grew up in Minnesota. And they're called Penzies, and they're salt-free. They're just different spices, like one is garlic powder. And so you can spice it any way you want. You can put a little salt and pepper. You can omit spice, whatever you want. Now, some people put a little lemon juice in theirs. I haven't done that. I may try that. So the next time you see me, you're going to see the pot with me browning things in it. But I'm going to go ahead and chop everything up, and I'll be back with you soon. Okay, all. What is in this pot right here is chopped up carrots, celery, pepper, onion, and garlic. Okay, I chopped it all up. Then you do put a little bit of olive oil in there and you will brown all of this up. I'll be back with you with the next step. Y'all, I forgot to say, I'm also putting in some fire roasted diced tomatoes. That is going to go in there as well. I'm still browning this up, I will show you. It's really yummy looking. I'm doing this one-handed. But it is so fragrant, especially with the garlic, onion, pepper. But the two ingredients I forgot to tell you that you will need is some type of oil. I'm using olive oil. Got it at Aldi. And the Happy Harvest, which I also got Aldi, fire roasted tomatoes. You could also use Rotel. So I'm going to brown this up for about maybe, you know, maybe five, ten more minutes. And then I'll be back with you guys. Okay, here's the cabbage. I like my cabbage big and chunky. And by the way, when you, you cook it all down, it doesn't end up looking like this. You got to cook it for a while. Another thing that I'm going to add in here are these fire roasted tomatoes. That will really add up. I've already put my vegetable broth in here. And you just mix this up and stir it up. And I haven't put spices on in here yet. I'm going to cook this for a while, and then I will add my spices. So I will be back with you shortly. But while I'm showing you this, I don't want to forget to ask this very important question. Okay, guys, I cut up an onion and put it in here, and I chopped it up. I know this question is all over YouTube and all over the Internet, but I have not found a method that works, so I need your advice. Every time... I cut an onion. I cry. I've tried all the methods that are out there to n have your eyes not burn or water with an onion, and none of them work. So, have you guys tried several methods? If you chop an onion, that's why I like to buy onions chopped up. If you chop an onion, what is the way that you don't cry or have your eyes burning? Let me know about that. I've tried different methods, and they just have not worked. So I want to hear from you in the comments below, and I will be back in a little bit and show you the final results. Okay, this is what the cabbage soup looks like. It doesn't take it long. Now i got to let it cool so I can put it in the back fridge. I love it, but I'm going to give you guys a recommendation of my opinion. Everybody has to do what works for them. I highly recommend putting a bunch of different vegetables in there, maybe even chopped up mushrooms, peppers, celery, carrot, onions, garlic, all of that, okay? The fire roasted tomatoes are okay, but I'm going to show you what I used last time that added way more flavor and I liked it better. I would use some type of, and it doesn't have to be this brand, you could use a generic brand, 
Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. It adds a lot more flavor to this, but if you want to eat it mild, maybe you could put a little lemon juice, a little salt and pep. This is what it looks like plated up. I mean, honestly, if you want a snack, this is my opinion, you're not going to gain weight from eating a huge bowl of cabbage soup. I mean, it's delicious. Let me know if any of you like cabbage soup and... This is Money Mom signing off. And also let me know if you want me to do more cooking videos. I normally don't do very many on this channel, but I can do some cooking videos if you like. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And like always, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.